In a previous video, I demonstrated how you can solve a problem like this with a module in Python that's called OR Tools. This is basically Google's OR Tools module in Python. It's a module that also provides access to the GLOP solver. And there were two videos on this. Um, in the first video, I demonstrated one syntax for modeling a problem like this. Uh, and then I made a second video with a slightly different syntax that was more, uh, I mean, that was a simplified syntax, a simpler syntax. And um, now I want to uh, make an example on integer programming, and so linear integer programming uh, and linear integer op optimization with the OR2 mod OR tools module in Python. So I changed the uh, problem statement uh, by adding uh, an additional uh, line that states that all the optimization variables are from the discrete space so they are all um, they most mo must all be natural positive numbers and I will now solve this problem again so now it is no longer a continuous linear problem but it's an integer optimization problem um, and since all the terms are uh, linear it's a linear integer problem um, the process or the workflow is uh, similar to previous videos I have to make sure that OR tools is installed I can use pip install for that then I have to import the pyrap LP sub set or sub package um, which is contained by the OR tools module and then I can create a solver instance um, this time, since it's an integer problem, I uh, do not use the GLOP solver, I use the CBC solver. Um, and I'm going to discuss the different solvers in a, in a later, later on video, but for now, I just remain with the CBC solver, which you should use for this integer problem. And then I have to create my optimization variables. In the previous video, when it was a continuous problem, I used the number constructor to create a numerical variable. In this case, I used the int var uh, constructor, um, specifying that this is an integer variable. Um, so I call the int var constructor three times and using the solver reference. Um, I specify the lower and upper bounds. My optimization variables do not have an upper bound but they have a lower bound of zero and I um, name the optimization variables. I store the reference to the instance inside a variable that I name in accordance to the or according to the problem statement up here. And then I add a maximization objective. I add three constraints. This is done here in these lines of code and then I basically modeled my linear, linear integer optimization problem. I can solve it and then I can access the optimal solution to the various optimization variables using the solution value method. This is also something I already uh, demonstrated in a previous, previous video. And you can see that in, in this case it now recognizes um, this as being an integer uh, optimization variable with an integer value. Um, so the optimal value to x is, is a seven, to y it's zero and to z it's six. Um, if you watched my previous video, the optimal solution in the continuous case was 6. Point, I think 666 and 6.666. Um, so now it's, it has been changed to 7 and 6. The optimal value to the problem is uh, um, calculated here using the optimal solutions to the various optimization variables. And uh, now it is 25. That's slightly below the optimal value in the previous video and that makes sense since this additional uh, constraint of the optimization variables being integers um, uh, narrows down the solution space significantly and thus it must be expected that the optimal value uh, to the problem is lower uh, since it is a maximization problem. So this was an example for how you can model and solve an integer linear optimization problem using OR tools. And in follow-up videos, I will 
and discuss these uh, different solvers in greater detail. But if you would like to use this example, uh, maybe also use this coding example as a template, then you can find it on my blog um, by clicking uh, the link in the video description.